NASA has released new images of an interstellar object. Astronomers say it's a comet, possibly older than our solar system. The first signs were a faint, asymmetrical glow, visible only at the deepest part of the James Webb Space Telescope, an unusual spectral filament that didn't match any known type of outgassing, mineral reflection, or thermal emission. Initially, astronomers thought they were observing another strange artifact from the already interesting interstellar visitor, Atlas 3i, only the third known object to drift into the solar system from the vastness of interstellar space. But the light persisted, intensifying and multiplying at the wavelengths Webb was trained to detect. It behaved with a stubborn consistency that was different from debris and dust and too structured to be considered noise. Even before the most detailed datasets were assembled, more and more researchers realized something extraordinary was going on. Webb had recorded signs that no one expected to find on or around a small, icy, interstellar planet. Organic complexity beyond non-biological origins, patterns in molecular absorption bands that hinted at metabolic cycling, and a spectral fingerprint that didn't match anything in the solar system, but fit the general expectations of biochemistry. News is spreading at a pace that almost mimics the long, shallow orbit through which 3i Atlas silently glides into the inner solar system. For decades, the scientific community has waited patiently for a clear, undeniable signal of extraterrestrial life, a form of evidence that most believe will come from a distant exoplanet whose atmosphere harbors traces of complex biology. But no one expected the first ray of hope to come from a tiny interstellar body, silently cutting across the outskirts of the solar system as if carrying an ancient, invisible, yet powerful message. What's surprising is not just the unexpectedness, but the strange nature of 3i Atlas. Completely different from the familiar comets in our system, it bears the chemical signature of an alien star system the product of a formation process completely separate from the cosmic environment in which Earth resides. Its appearance is a rare event in itself, but new data is pouring in suggesting it may host a micro-ecosystem, transforming 3i Atlas from an alien blob into a veritable interstellar messenger. The signals from the Webb Space Telescope, though weak, were too structured to be explained by coincidence. In the mid-infrared, spectral absorption patterns revealed the presence of complex carbon chains, varying in length and structure, features that are difficult to attribute to non-biological chemistry. Hidden within the signals were traces of amino acids and stable polymer skeletons, structures that absorb and emit energy in strange periodic patterns that closely resemble the energy transfer mechanisms in known living systems. Some of the patterns even fit modern hypotheses of prebiotic biochemistry, where cyclic energy fluctuations serve as the primordial pulse of life. What's more remarkable is that these patterns don't exist in isolation. They're interconnected and nested structures, following the same regulatory rules that bacteria use to organize their colonies in porous microenvironments. Their appeal to researchers lies not just in their complexity, but also in their ability to change over time. Webb has observed changes in the concentrations of these molecules, a behavior that looks more like a biological response to environmental changes than a result of passive chemistry. As 3i Atlas continues to move deeper into the solar system, those kinematic signals are becoming the focus of a bold emerging hypothesis. The object may be carrying more than just organic matter, but potentially life, microscopic, resilient life forms, invisible to the naked eye, but still alive. They could be microbes adapted to survive interstellar travel, or as some researchers cautiously suggest, the remnants of a more ancient biome, belonging to a planet, a star system, or even a civilization long gone. Whatever the final answer, 3i Atlas is forcing humanity to expand every assumption about the origin and distribution of life in the universe. And it is very possible that these first signals are just the thin ice covering the deep secrets waiting to be awakened in the bottomless darkness of interstellar space. The implications of the discovery go far beyond the traditional boundaries of astrobiology. If life can exist on a tiny body lacking a protective atmosphere, a stable thermal environment, or a magnetic shield like planets, then the universe could be teeming with tiny microbial vessels, silently traveling distances previously thought impassable. In such a scenario, life would no longer be confined to its birthplace. 
It could drift, spread, and seed new life in the cold, dark corners of space. The thrill of the scientific community comes not just from the possibility of life migrating, but also from a deeper question. Are we encountering the first evidence of a galactic biological web where primitive life forms are transported across the universe, either accidentally or intentionally? As 3i Atlas ventured deeper into the solar system, the amount of data it collected skyrocketed. Webb restructured its entire observing schedule, prioritizing capturing Atlas's light in every possible window, even pushing back distant galactic projects to dedicate every photon to this rare interstellar object. In a short time, the research had exploded from a small team analyzing a few spectral anomalies into an international collaboration, bringing together experts from microbiology, planetary chemistry, astrophysics, evolutionary science, and scholars studying the origins of life. The atmosphere in the scientific community was tense. Each new piece of data was dissected with extreme caution, as if it held the key to a truth that would shake the entire human understanding. Some experts even questioned whether Atlas 3i, if it did indeed harbor life, might be the remnant of an ancient biological transport system once used by an unknown civilization, or whether it was a natural mechanism of the galaxy itself, a cosmic protocol for maintaining large-scale biodiversity. And the more we observe, the more our curiosity mixes with a sense of dread as 3i Atlas gets closer, carrying secrets that perhaps humanity has never been prepared to face. The biggest challenge now is to distinguish between signs of real life and strange but inanimate chemical reactions, especially on an object of extrasolar origin, where the chemical conditions may be far beyond the usual earthly norms. Much of the scientific community remains cautious, but the accumulated models have eroded the last doubts. The distribution of organic compounds on Atlas 3i is too skewed to be explained by purely non-biological processes. More strikingly, periodic fluctuations in molecular concentrations suggest a dynamic feedback mechanism, a signature usually found only in biological systems. Some spectral lines even suggest the existence of radiation-absorbing pigments similar to those found on Earth, a plausible adaptive strategy in an environment of relentless cosmic radiation, extreme cold, and wild fluctuations in interstellar space. As more data emerged, the initial skepticism gradually turned to a cautious but confident state. The real turning point came when Webb detected an unusual, almost spontaneous burst of infrared fluorescence just as 3i Atlas was being swept by the enhanced solar radiation. The emission levels rose and fell in a pattern that closely resembled the responses of biological systems accustomed to light. From this behavior, the researchers deduced that the putative life forms might be using or modifying the energy they were consuming, a basic but purposeful form of metabolism. This observation alone was enough to force science to reconsider most of its assumptions about the limits of life in the universe. If this is confirmed, the life forms on 3i Atlas are no longer seen as passengers trapped in ancient ice, immobile in the flow of time. On the contrary, they seem to be proactive survival entities, able to grasp every rare ray of energy, able to adapt to absolute isolation, and resilient enough to maintain activity even when drifting for millions of years in the frozen darkness of interstellar space. In that case, 3i Atlas would not just be a carrier of life, it would become living proof that the universe could be a vast ecosystem where life does not wait for favorable conditions, but knows how to rewrite the rules of survival for itself. With each new observation, a fundamental question arises. Where did this life come from? Three, Iatlas's orbit points toward a region of the galaxy rich in star formation, dense nebulae, and chaotic stellar nurseries, where life, if it ever emerged, might have thrived in the harsh but vibrant conditions. Somewhere in that vast expanse of space, there must exist a planetary system that produced these strange microbes. The chemical signatures Webb obtained suggest a biochemistry based on carbon, but not carbon alone. Trace metals intertwine with organic compounds in ways that far exceed the ability of Earth organisms to replicate, suggesting a mysterious hybrid biochemistry. 
Some researchers boldly speculate that life on 3i Atlas may be older than the solar system, descended from a lineage that diverged from the chemical ancestors of life on Earth billions of years ago. Others suggest a counterintuitive scenario. It may be a relatively young life form, evolving in conditions so different from Earth's that 3i Atlas's orbit is a parallel experiment nature is conducting on a galactic scale. The implications of panspermia have never been sharper or more shocking. For centuries, the idea that life could travel between stars has been a bold hypothesis, often overshadowed by models of the origin of life that focus on stable planets and stable environments. But if Atlas 3i is indeed confirmed as a host, it would be the first direct evidence that life not only exists beyond Earth, but can also make the icy, treacherous journey through interstellar space. This would mean that life in the universe is not a static phenomenon, rooted in its origin, but a mobile entity, capable of spreading through powerful natural mechanisms. Icy bodies are knocked out of their parent star systems by gravitational fluctuations, drifting for millions, even billions, of years before stumbling into a new planetary system. This perspective immediately redefines humanity's place in the cosmic picture. If life can move freely in this way, the boundaries between biospheres are no longer absolute. Earth may not be an isolated oasis, but a link in an ancient network of biological exchange that stretches across countless star systems. From here, bold hypotheses arise. Earth's genetic heritage may not be entirely indigenous. It may be a cross between locally originated life streams and extraterrestrial seeds that collided and mingled in the distant past. On the other hand, if the microbes on Atlas 3i are completely unrelated to life on Earth, the discovery still represents a turning point in scientific thinking. It confirms that life is not rare or isolated in the solar system, but may have emerged multiple times throughout the galaxy with adaptive strategies and molecular architectures completely independent of the biological models we are familiar with. Whichever scenario is correct, both extend astrobiology beyond anything previously thought. The discovery also underscores the almost superhuman resilience of life. Interstellar space is an environment so extreme that it is almost impossible to navigate. Temperatures approaching absolute zero, relentless cosmic radiation, no steady energy source, and no favorable chemical conditions. To survive such a journey, let alone sustain metabolic reactions, organisms must possess protective mechanisms far beyond any known biological system on Earth. Webb's data reveal molecules capable of absorbing and regulating radiation in the manner of protective pigments or photoprotectants. Spectral features also suggest the presence of polymers capable of repairing molecular damage, a form of biological armor that may have evolved to withstand the harsh conditions over millennia. When compared to extremophiles on Earth, the level of toughness implied by Atlas 3i far exceeds any record ever observed. That points to a strong evolutionary pressure forcing life not only to survive, but also to function stably in the absolute isolation of deep space. All eyes are now on the question, what will happen as Atlas 3i moves closer to the sun? Researchers are careful not to discuss the long-term consequences or the potential societal backlash, but they do understand that the changing environment on the object presents an unprecedented opportunity. Increased temperatures will restructure organic molecules trapped in the ice. Increased radiation could trigger new chemical cycles, creating unique spectral signatures that Webb could track with unprecedented precision. Sublimation of volatiles could release trapped microorganisms, creating a transient atmosphere rich in biological signals around the object, allowing observers to collect more delicate samples. But for now, the scientific community remains focused on one thing, Webb's landmark discovery, the increasingly compelling evidence of extraterrestrial life and its far-reaching consequences for biology, astrophysics, and how humanity understands the universe. Initial interpretations of 3i Atlas suggest that the discovery has implications that are almost beyond imagination. If life does indeed exist on an interstellar body, many long-held assumptions about the origin of life on Earth will have to be re-examined. While scientists remain cautious and have not yet confirmed that life on Earth originated outside the solar system, the presence of life forms on Atlas III. I makes the perisperm hypothesis more convincing than ever. 
An icy interstellar wanderer in our own system is strong evidence that the seeds of life may have once been planted on the early Earth. From a broader perspective, the discovery underscores the dynamic interconnectedness of the galaxy. If Atlas III I harbors life, the Milky Way is no longer a loose collection of isolated star systems, but a vast exchange network where matter, energy, and perhaps life itself are constantly in motion. Small bodies whose orbits have been disturbed and ejected from their parent star systems could have carried organic matter or primitive microbes, drifting for millions of years as invisible messengers from distant worlds. Based on Webb's data, the Milky Way is likely teeming with such messengers, each a chemical and biological archive waiting to be deciphered. The complexity of Atlas III's structure also suggests that life doesn't necessarily need a stable planet to form. The hollow cavities within an interstellar object could create microenvironments that shield from radiation, maintain a minimum temperature, and provide the chemical gradients necessary for life to survive for long periods of time. If Atlas's organisms are able to hibernate and only activate when exposed to energy, then even the cold isolation of space wouldn't be enough to snuff out life. In that sense, 3i Atlas isn't just a visitor to our solar system, but also a crucial piece in the puzzle of the origin of life across the galaxy. The chemical data Webb obtained suggests that any organisms that may have existed may have relied on a hybrid biochemical framework of organic compounds and trace metals like mineral nanoframes. This would have helped them withstand cosmic radiation and maintain molecular stability in harsh environments. Inside 3i Atlas, Webb found ice regions, porous networks, and organic-rich pockets where the biological signal was strongest. These pockets, like miniature ecosystems, have cycles of activity that change with rotation, temperature, and sunlight. This variability suggests that this is not a static chemical relic, but a living, adapting system. Remarkably, 3i Atlas appears to be bridging the gap between interstellar chemistry and actual biology. Complex organic molecules long observed in the Milky Way may be the building blocks, and objects like Atlas 3i are a direct bridge that brings this chemistry closer to life. This makes it more plausible that life is a galactic phenomenon, not just a feature of a single planet. Some researchers have suggested that life on 3i Atlas may be just a small part of an invisible biosphere that has been floating around the Milky Way for billions of years. Despite the far-reaching implications, however, the scientific community preferred to stick with the evidence. They monitored spectra, analyzed repeating molecules, and measured rhythmic fluctuations in compound concentrations. As Atlas III moved closer to the sun, the surface ice sublimated into a halo of organic vapor, allowing Webb to get a better look at compounds deep in the icy core. The molecules in this haze even tended to assemble into organized structures, reminiscent of the cooperative forms inherent in pre-multicellular systems. Each new observation made the discovery more wondrous. Life was no longer bound to a fixed planet, but emerged as a cosmic traveler, capable of traveling between star systems. Webb, originally designed to study distant galaxies, unexpectedly became a tool to record traces of an interstellar biology, opening up a whole new field of study, biology on a galactic scale. As observations continued, the scientific community began to agree that biology was no longer the exclusive preserve of Earth. The implications of Atlas III extended to every field of study of life, energy, evolution, and cosmic processes. While most avoided making any further predictions, they understood that this was one of the most important moments in the history of science. 3i Atlas showed that the universe was not as quiet as we had thought, that life might be a dynamic interstellar current, and that we were only just beginning to recognize its presence. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave a comment below. And let us know what you think about the 3i Atlas, bringing life to humans, and how humanity should respond next. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.